You know, this switch is pretty interesting, because Kazooie is, like, never this happy. Is that supposed to represent that she's happy, that she's free from the backpack? That Banjo's no longer this baggage holding her down? Hmm. And Banjo there is like, FINE! WHO NEEDS YOU? Hmm. These are the things I think about when getting ready to start a video. But now I'm starting the video, so... Hello, Dark Minded Sith here. Welcome to another fun, exciting round of backtracking. So we're here in the plateau. And to start off with our backtracking, we've got some honeycombs to turn in. Hello, honey. Things haven't changed much here. I don't know, she looks a little taller. I didn't realize how tall she is compared to Banjo, my god. She's a giant bee. You don't have to say I'm Honey Bee every time. <laughs> I think we know you by now, Honey. Alright, so now we have one little extra thing of health. Sure, Honey. Yeah. Again, I don't know if he's subtly flirting with her or if he's just really saying her name. Now we have one less chance of dying. That's nice. Nine. Yikes. That's a lot. And that'll be the three honeycomb pieces for the three remaining worlds of the game. So then after that, no more honeybee. Although I think Banjo will probably get her phone number or something. Seems to like her quite a bit. Alright, so next up for backtracking. Here's a world we haven't been in in a while. Litter Gulch Mine. Gotta say, I haven't missed it all that much. Sorry. And I'm not gonna miss it much coming up here, because we're just about done with it. We've got one last little thing to do here. I'm gonna go outside the crushing shed. And somewhere around here is a long-awaited jiggy. It's the one up here in the waterfall. The thing has been out of reach for quite some time. But not today, because we now have the springy step shoes! So let's just leap, go here, and boom! Jiggy number 48. And that's going to do it for Glitter Gulch Mine. Wow, he sank quite a bit there. <laughs> Gosh, Banjo, you're like a safe. Freaking anger. You getting in white, man? Sneaking cheeseburgers off screen? Hmm. Anyway, that does it for here, so let's move on to the next backtracking area. Alright. Our next stop is Witchy World. And Miss Boggy here, her fat child has been here for a long time now. The little scamp. There's still another one to... <laughs> I don't know. That sentence is just still funny to me. Thanks for bringing back my child, you know, Mr. Police Officer, but there's still another one to find. But yeah, her fat child is still here, and we cannot bring his fat body back. Until now, because we have the taxi pack. But I actually cannot remember where the heck he is, so first off, we need to get Banjo by himself. With the taxi pack, we can now move that fat so. Doesn't make much sense, but what does in this game? Okay, so now I need to off screen to where he is. I actually cannot remember, <laughs> so. See you soon. Okay, right when I walked in here, I heard... <laughs> so, yeah, he's definitely here. <laughs> there you are. Please take me to my mom. I'm too full to walk down myself. Yeah, full is a, an, an interesting way to put it. You're in denial, buddy. Alright, get in the backpack. I should make you walk, but... Alright, so we got Fatso in our backpack. I like green, but this place is just a little too green. It's kind of hurting my eyes a little bit. I'm surprised Banjo can just casually walk with this guy. I'm surprised he's not like... Like this, or something. Okay, so let's take Fat... Hey! No, you don't. He's like, he's back! Get him, guys! Okay, so let's take him to his mother. Okay. Hello, Miss Boggy. Finally got your child here, so let's get him out of here. <laughs> what did I tell you about not running off? <laughs> I'm sorry, Mom! Sorry isn't good enough. 
Young man, you've been eating again, haven't you? Well, you'd still better want your dinner. It was that strange man, Mom. He made me eat this burger. Enough of your lies. Bam! <laughs> nice. Ouch! Wow. She used the pack whack. <laughs> the purse whack. Enough excitement today. Yeah. Okay, so now we've got all the children together. Poor Miss Boggy can finally go home. By then. Wow. Kind of said that with like a little stink to it, didn't he? By then. What are you doing sneaking in the ticket office? Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, hmm. I think I see why Mr. Boggy married you. <laughs> why are you holding on to the hat? I don't think the hat has a problem <laughs> of stability. There we go, Jiggy49. That does it for Witchy World, actually. Well, not forever, but that's all the Jiggy, so... I don't know if I've quite shown this off, but... Ah, what the heck, I'll go and do it. If you try to leave an area by yourself like this... Be, hey, Banjo, you're not leaving this world without me. Yeah. See? See, she's not all about being on her own, you know? She can't live without Banjo. They need each other. And Banjo says something similar to that. I think he actually says the exact same thing, just Kazooie instead, so... Alright, that's it for Witchy World. Let's move on to the next backtracking area. Okay, so we're in Jolly Roger Lagoon. And this time, we've got some nice balanced backtracking, because this time we actually need Kazooie by herself. So, what's to do here? If you recall, we met our old friend Tip Tup, who we used to race against back in the day. We probably He probably creamed us, because he had pretty nice handling, and Banjo just, ugh, could never race as him in Diddy Kong Racing. His turning was just so awful. Anyway. Hi! Hi. Bye! <laughs> okay, so we're back here. Tip Tup is here, and if you recall, he's had a dilemma where... His child cannot hatch. It's him. Okay, we've seen this dialogue. You know, he's, had, he's got a bunch of children, so... So this egg's been sitting here for a while, but now... Kazooie has the ability to hatch things. And the biggest challenge of this whole thing is just getting on this egg. <laughs> there we go, and... There we go. Kazooie's really tiny compared to Tip Tup, actually. <laughs> Oh, look. It's a baby. Oh, he rolled out. <laughs> Thank you so much. Wait. Something looks odd. Oh no. He's upside down. I mean, he's tipped up. <laughs> it's not funny. Yeah, it is. It's pretty funny. Alright. What if I was to just be rude and, like, just leave? And just not come back to the end of the game? <laughs> that, no, that's just me. Okay, so you just hit it. There we go. And he's tipped up. That's so much better. I found this buried in the sand. It's yours. Now come along, son. I'll take you to meet all your sisters. Yay! Well, if that doesn't make you want to be a turtle, nothing will. Oh, poor little guy. He hasn't learned to do that little shell maneuver that Tip Tup just did. Oh, they're gone. Forever. Darn. Right. That's our next Jiggy. I think this hatched egg, like, stays here forever. It'd be cool if they had Tip Tup and the child, like, just swimming around in here, but... Eh, they're gone forever. It'd be cool to see the family. I don't know, maybe they're nuts and bolts or something. Yeah, that's a game that exists. Okay, so that does it for Jolly Roger Lagoon. And the backtracking here, so let's head on to the next area. Alright, we are here in the Wooded Hollow. Coming up in a bit, we're going to open up the next world, but I'm going to take a small detour here. We're going to visit old Heggy and her egg shed. We've got one last little thing to do in here. She actually has an egg in here we have not hatched yet. And that's not where your egg shed is. There it is. Okay. 
Gotta remember it's more open, so. Alright, let's go into this giant egg. Okay, Eggie's egg shed. Egg's shed. Egg Heggie's egg. Oh, forget it. Okay, so. Oh, have I never drilled this? Yeah, I drilled this and there's split pads. So that's a clue. What does she say exactly? Clock! Heggie's done now! Clock! You must hatch the other egg. Okay. Yeah, we actually have an egg up here. I don't even know if I showed it or not, but. That's right, Kazooie. You're not done hatching for today. Come up here, and there's one more egg up here. A yellow stop and swap egg. Could this be the secret to stop and swap? It's finally here! The truth will now be revealed. The secret to stop and swap is none other than... Block! Special Heavy Egg Award! Genjoas Multiplayer! Character! Oh. Hmm. Okay, so we're done with Heggy's egg, sh egg, egg shed. Uh -huh. there. And what does she say now? No, don't burn her! Don't make fried chicken. Special lines all hatched! Okay. Bye, Heggy, forever. Maybe not forever. Maybe she'll be in the credits or something. She'll say, like, development by so and so or whatever. Alright, bye, Heggy. And we're done hatching for today. You can rest your buns for now, Kazooie. Next up is opening the next world. What's up, man? Yeah, we need a total of 28 to open up the next world, and unfortunately we only have 50, so... Okay, and as is the now tradition, if you will... Well, I guess it hasn't become a tradition if I haven't really done it yet. Anyway, I'm going to show off something interesting while I do the puzzle. So... What am I going to show off today? Let's see. Okay, so we're going to look at some beta footage of Banjo-Kazooie. This is from E3 1997. This is a beta version of Treasure Trove Cove, actually. You'll notice the song is different as well. This was the original song, but it was changed later. We got some giant beehive type things there. Those are never used in the game. Look at that! You, the flying didn't even use a flight pad. Just took off right from the ground. Actually, they have a flight pad coming up here, but it looks different. It's around here. And he already had the big bomb, see? That was pretty interesting. Now this area has Mumbo, but the area looks different. There's no mumbo pad. And we're at the termite. Now here, let's check out this sound effect coming up here with the eggs. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And how about that? Original Clanker's Cavern, and it has the fungi forest music from DK64. Uh, yeah, pretty awesome. Behold the power of Jiggy Wiggy Earthquakes. Tremble miles and miles and make doors open. No entry. Not anymore. <laughs> I just love it like that's all it did was like knock off that little piece of wood. <laughs> you know, we could have grenade egged that. All right, world six is now open. I'm chosen one. I've done cool things. Yeah, I can open up things. Yeah. I can no more. No more worlds opening. No more puzzles. Alright, so we're gonna head off to the next area, towards World 6. Okay, back in the wasteland. And we need to actually go to the next area. Like, what do you think you're gonna do, really? At this point in the game, what is this type of enemy gonna do to me, really? Okay. Here's the springy step shoes that we learned to use, and now we can leap all the way up here. And 
this leads us to the next area, the Quagmire. And while in here, Grunty was like, let's do donuts! She did a bunch of donuts around here. Then she was like, okay, that's enough, let's go up the wall. Wow, that thing can climb, can't it? Okay, so that opens up the warp silo here. And that is World 6. You die. Okay, but I see a Jinjo. Are you really a Jinjo? Do you really need help? No, you don't. You fake. Okay, so this is World 6, and a big old path of ashtray. Ash, ashes leads to it. From ashtrays, apparently. So what could that world be like? We'll find out next time. Next time we enter World 6. Thank you for watching. Farewell till we meet again.